Okay. Ten. Okay. 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 So here's the point of this video. Well, there ain't got no point in this video. Y'all, y'all get it. But I'm not that kind of person to judge nobody at all. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm cool. You cool with me? I'm cool with you. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna give that shout out to everybody that does YouTube, that's on YouTube, that watches YouTube. You may not know me. I may not know you. But in a way, I woke up, looked at my YouTube, and I sent a comment. I ain't saying by who. If he sees this video, it'd be awesome. But uh, the point, there was no point to that video. There really wasn't. I just got bored and said, fuck it, and let's see what happens. But Mr. Myers, I'm uh, shocked that you kind of seen that. I don't know if it's because your name was in the title or what it was, but I congratulate everybody that has a YouTube. I'm, I hope everybody gets where they want to be on it. Like me, I hope to be successful in this shit. Uh, Backwoods Redneck, that's who I am, that's where I'm from. That's, that was my nickname growing up, and this and that. Uh, I'm kind of speechless right now because I've seen this comment and I was like, there's no way this man, th this one dude commented on my uh, video. And I, was, I had to make sure it was really this dude, but like, I'm really in disbelief and shock. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all the things I post. I'm thankful for the things I got. And I'm thankful YouTube's still around. I'm, I'm kind of happy that the government ain't shut that down too. But I'm going to go ahead and give that shout out to everybody. Everybody on here. If you see this video, thank you. Your views do count in a lot of different ways. But uh, I really don't even know why I'm making this video. But... That's just, I guess, my mentality and my type. I guess I just do random shit for no reason. I post random shit. Even if it doesn't make no sense, I post it because you never know, like, who's going to see it, what's going to happen with it. It could be the most dumbest video. Like, I've seen on YouTube recently, you can post the most dumbest, out of this world, retardiest, retarded, retardiest, I can't even say the word. I'm trying to make up a word for it most retarded videos I've ever seen on YouTube be the ones that make it and hit the most. And, uh, like I said, I shout out to everybody on this YouTube, bro. Like, for real. Y'all doing a good job. Y'all bringing out awesome content. My next step is to be where y'all are at. Like, for real. Once I can find that motivation and I can get them people and shit, bro, I mean, I, I'm dedicated to it. I try to post at least once a day, if not try to have do multiple videos in a week. Say if I can't post every day, like say if I don't post for two days, I'll be in that time period, I'm making some type of video. And then like say I'll post like two or three videos at one time and then take a break for a day. And then the next day I'll start making random videos, rather it be a game video, rather it be an in-person video like this or what i mean it doesn't matter it's it's youtube it's for you to be seen and you to get recognized voices to be heard and voices to be seen but uh damn i just had a brain fart i just had a brain fart. Ooh, i don't like that no i wasn't like that earlier you see all that no 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 look at this y'all don't ever do this shit don't start don't think about it don't even do it this, this is not worth it because you end up getting being like me. I'm trying to stop these damn things, but when you get to smoking these daggone things, you see that? See how far I'm done smoking it? But you'll end up getting to a point where you'll keep smoking and smoking and smoking and you'll hit filter and you'll be like, oh, that's nasty. Anyway. Oh, what was my point? I, had, I, I was thinking of something to say, but I can't think of what it really was I was going to say. It'll come back to me once I end this video and post it. Then I'll be like, oh, that's what it was I meant to really say. But I know everybody has that moment in their life where they're like that. But, you know, I'm glad everybody's doing good. I'm glad everybody's doing making it for themselves. I will be the next one to come up like everyone. It's just a matter of when, how, and how long it'll take for it to happen. But I have my high hopes that this, that this will take off. Because when this takes off, I'm going to be that. I'm... I'm already in the country rap, so 
I can somewhat spit bars on a rap beat or a country or a country song. I can sing a little bit of country. I'm not the greatest at it. I, I will admit I suck completely major dick. I suck at it. But with practice comes greatness and if you don't practice it you you won't make it. You won't make it. Like I wanna do reaction videos to different people, but the thing is I don't have all the computer equipment and all the software to do so. But I know one day I will end up being able to afford this shit and I'll be able to do like what other people do. I'll just go on video on YouTube and try to find these weird videos and react to them. Like not to judge or nothing, but just like, you know, to make something funny out of it. Get people, other people out there. Like say the people that do know that are on my channel, they ain't many, they really ain't. There's very, very few. None of y'all really watch my videos. There's a very select few of y'all that watch all my videos, which I thank y'all for doing because it kind of helps me and motivates me to uh, bring out more and better shit. I mean, it's just gonna take time for me to figure out what everybody likes. And cause I feel like whatever piques my interest as a 23 year old will pique other people's interest in what I have interest in. Cause I know there's a lot of people I know that have the same interest I do. So, if you're one of them people that want to start a YouTube, that trying to get somewhere, somewhere in their life, YouTube can't pay your life success. You have to do something for yourself. YouTube is just an extra bonus. That's all it is. But, uh, I am, I'm going to keep this a short video. Well, damn, I'm already at three, or three minutes and 40 seconds. But, I'm going to keep this video under eight minutes, but... Like I said, shout out to all them people that are on YouTube. Y'all doing a fantastic job, making awesome content, laughing my ass off at shit that people are posting. Kobe posts some pretty cool shit. Up Church is taking a break from YouTube, but I don't understand why. But then I understand he has a life in his, like he has to have a life to live, so he can't be constantly on YouTube. Because I know he's been posting other places. I don't follow. The only place I follow Mr. Up Church is on here. Other than that. I mean, I don't have Instagram. I do have an Instagram, but I don't use it. So I can't really follow anybody on Instagram. My Instagram's pretty big. I'm not gonna lie, my Instagram's pretty big. I need to get back into my Instagram and promote my shit, but I wanna make funny shit for y'all. Like, this is my, here's my plan. To people who do see this video, and you made it this far, I want you to leave a comment in the bottom Tell me what your interest is. What do you like seeing? What is it that makes you laugh? I mean, I know jokes, common jokes make people laugh, but I'm like, what are people interests? That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm having a hard time figuring out. I need to know what people's interests are so I can post shit with their interest in it. Because I know if I can post something good, people will keep coming back and coming back and coming back. If it's lame, yeah, people are gonna see it, exit halfway through the video which is cool, which is cool. Well, I'm not gonna judge you, I mean, there's a bunch of videos out here on YouTube for those who get bored in their spare time, like what I'm doing right now, I'm bored, I have nothing to do. I'm just sitting out here, trying to think of what to fucking say and go at it, you know? I mean, I ain't got no hate towards nobody. Everybody, like, like I just said, everybody's doing a fantastic job with their YouTube, bro. It didn't take overnight to get where y'all are at, which is, it's okay. I mean, some people, yeah, it can happen overnight. Some people, it takes a little longer than others. But I want to be the next one to pop out over everybody. I don't want to be better than nobody. My thing is I want to be about right there with everybody up there. Like, say, if I'm on level two and they're on level eight, I want to be that one to be up there with them. I'm not trying to go any farther than they are. I just, I got a shitty-ass life. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to cope with this shitty ass life. And me making doing this kind of helps me out a little bit because it gets a lot of things off my mind. But uh, this world's going to shit and I hate to say that, but there's nothing else for me to turn to but this. So I'm thankful for anybody that watches my videos. I'm thankful for all of my subscribers, which is all 55 of them. But eventually I'm gonna have a hundred of them and then after that I'm gonna have more than a hundred and I'm gonna have like a thousand and then I'm gonna have I will make it I will make it you gotta have faith positivity and believe in yourself believe in you yourself your videos and everything else that comes in between 
most importantly, I done found out, you have to have a job. There's some lazy people out there that expect things to be handed to them. Here's the thing. Don't hand shit out. Work for it. Work, 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 work. Hard work pays off. I know because I've been in the situation of having absolutely nothing to having great shit and then losing all that great shit going back to nothing. My point is that there's a lot of people out here that are homeless. There's a lot of people out here struggling. But here's the thing. I mean, this is for the homeless people. Like, they're going to see this because I don't know if they have YouTube or have a phone like that to watch videos. But I've been in that position. It sucks. But the thing I found out with being in that position is you put yourself there. You can do better for yourself. You have to work. If you ain't working, you ain't making money. If you ain't making money, you ain't going to have a life. Money pays for shit in your life. Remember that. And I was told not too long ago, not long ago, <laughs> long ago, that God gives his strongest battles, no, God gives his worst battles to his strongest enemies. That hit me to the heart when I was told that, and I want y'all to hear that too. I'm not a religious person. I, I mean, I used to go to church and this and that. I mean, I believe there's a higher, greater power that's not the government. They can suck my dick and balls and everything that I have to offer. But it's all up to you to do what you want to with your life. It's not somebody else's. You can't depend on everybody else. You have to do what you and stop worrying about everyone and worry about yourself. Other than that, you worry about more people, that's just taking less time out for you to worry about yourself. Like, I'm, that's true facts. Anybody will tell you that. If you're not smart and got common sense, you won't know that, but now that if you, if you are not smart and don't have no common sense and you're watching this video, hopefully I speak some damn sense into you because I've known a lot of people from where I'm from expect shit to be handed to them. Like, not too long, I was walking down the road, this lady passed me. We call her a crazy lady from where I'm from. She's homeless. I was just walking to the store to get me a drink. She passed me. I was twiddling my lighter in my hand just like this and she looked at me i passed her we know each other but i don't associate with them because they're crazy people that's what i call crazy people i'm sitting here doing this she walks by and she looks at me like i ain't seen you in a minute what have you been up to i was struggling making myself do something instead of just sitting here doing nothing like right now i'm sitting here doing nothing so i have nothing better to do she seen my lighter and she asked can i have your lighter i said no you can't have my lighter if you want a lighter work for it it's just a petty little thing. It, you gotta work just for this. I'll work for this little itty bitty thing. That's no, that's a little bit longer than my nose. <laughs> but the thing is, you gotta work for your shit. Like, if you're funny, you're funny. If you're not, yeah, I make people like, where I'm from, the people that know me knows that I'm a pretty funny person when it comes down to it, but I'm also a serious person as it is. I, mean, I like to joke around, I love cutting up. But also, you gotta take life serious. Like, it's crazy. But, I, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm done with this video. I will post more shortly. Y'all be safe. I mean, there ain't really nothing I can say. I've done said this like 14 times in one and a half already <laughs> uh, in this video. But, last time, shout out to everybody on this YouTube. If you like anything of mine, like it. I would love, I would really, 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 really love to get a thousand subscribers. If I can get a thousand subscribers, I'm able to do live content. Without being able to do live content, it's kind of holding me back. I can't really expand like I want to. I mean, I gained 10 subscribers in one day. One day. That's because I promoted myself where I'm from. You gotta, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It is really, really crazy. But, words of advice do you stop worrying about others and make something of yourself all them people that hate on you that don't like you or this and that show them people like hey i'm worried about me i'm doing for me and when you have hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars in your bank account you went from having a dollar fifty in your back pocket to almost having 10 cent and then next thing you know about six months to a year later you got a hundred thousand dollars in your pocket you work for that regardless how you got it unless you're slinging drugs for the damn cartel which i don't suggest you do because you'll get caught 
And it's up to you, man. Work your life off. Live the American dream. And I've come to find out in my hardest times, the thing I grew up on they call the American dream is not so great. Because everybody I know works their ass off to pay what bills they have. And at the end of the day, when they get their bills paid, they have nothing. They're sitting there struggling. They have just enough money to go get some food and make gas money for the rest of the week. Even with high good paying jobs. Like I've had a good paying job. I was taking care of me, my wife, a place to stay, car payments, car insurance, electric, I mean, Wi-Fi, TV. I mean, that's a lot to take into consideration for one person paying for everything. But you know what? It will make you a better person. It, you, you just gotta work hard and strive for what you want. Don't give up. That's to everybody. You'll make it. You will make it. These are true hard facts. Damn, girl, you look good. Man, that was like a squirrel trying to find a damn rabbit. Chasing a rabbit, looking at a rabbit. I don't know. Fuck. That was a horrible anomaly. Bro. And uh, see, my mind's been fucked up the past couple of days. But anyways, I'm in this video. Y'all be safe. Like, subscribe. If you've gotten this far. Share the fuck out of these videos. I ain't gotta share my video. Shit, share my channel. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to do a giveaway. And then once I get to a certain amount of people, I'm going to do another giveaway. And then after that, I'm going to do another giveaway. I'm going to figure something out for y'all. I'm going to draw one name. I, it's not hard to do giveaways and draw names. You just got to do is I direct you in order to be entered into them. I ain't thought of what to do yet, but I've been thinking. But anyways, y'all be safe later. Until next time, this redneck is out. Peace.